What's up guys? Welcome to your 135th Android tutorial for the new boss and what we're going to do in this tutorial, we actually aren't going to work with you know, our alert yet. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the basics before we jump into into that because it might be a little bit more complicated. Um, but what we're going to do is basically add a compass to our map activity that will tell us the direction that we're heading which is north and all that good stuff. It's going to be pretty simple and to do that we're going to add an object that's from the my location overlay and uh, we're just going to call this compass you got to import that and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here um, within our on create method and we're going to set compass equal to new uh, my location overlay um, and then we pass into the con or pass into the parameters uh, the context which is main dot this and then our map or a map view I should say which we called map and then all we have to do is add to our overlay list that we created a few tutorials ago um, add our compass and now we'll have an overlay that displays the compass uh, it's pretty simple I mean that's that's pretty much it for for adding a compass what we can also do is we can right click and go to source uh, override unimplemented methods add the on pause and on resume method and then we can also define our compass within here basically to just say uh, we're just gonna say compass dot uh, disable compass and then we also have a method called compass dot uh, enable method or compass I should say so there we go now our compass is going to be disabled when we go and pause and enabled when we are in resume but now let's also learn about something called a controller now a controller is going to be able to animate where we're going uh, through our map activity so what we need to do is we need to set up a a map controller object so we're going to call map controller and we're going to call this uh, controller or control yeah controller and add this import and I'll just show you a quick example of what this can do so what we're going to do is first set up our controller where we're going to have controller is equal to uh, map which is our map activity and then we're just going to say get controller now what we can do is we can animate our controller to go to a certain location if we have a certain location in mind and how we set up those locations is by kind of longitude and latitude and we create a geo point and a geo point is going to basically handle the longitude and latitude so let's set up one of those within our on create method so we're going to say geo point and we're just going to call this point we're going to set this equal to new geo point and within the parameters it takes uh, the latitude and long longitude so if you guys know the latitude and longitude uh, make sure if if it's like one point something 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 you need to take it times uh, one uh, e whoops times one e six and I'll just get it in kind of a format that Android likes so um, just keeping that in mind you know if you have like a, a longitude that's 1.743 or something like that um, but for exa for this example I'm just gonna type in a longitude uh, like 51 so I'm just gonna type in something like that or actually like that and that's for my latitude and for my longitude I'm just gonna again type in some numbers uh, let me sh make sure this is an actual point so about six yeah that'd be about 7.8 and 51.6 um, if, if you guys are familiar with that now what we can do is we can say our controller and we can dot say dot animate to a geo point and since we just set up this geo point called point that's what we're going to animate to we can also set our zoom with our controller so we can say controller dot zoom and we have some zoom methods like uh, zoom in, zoom out. But what we're going to do is we're just going to set our initial zoom to be something like 6 maybe. And see, so our controller can do a lot of different things. What it's going to do within this, within this on create method is locate this geo point, animate to that point, and then zoom in. 
and basically these are different levels of zoom you guys can test those out and have fun with that but let's run our application make sure it works and you know that's just kind of the basic um, some more basic stuff that we can do with Google Maps and then see our, uh, our controller zooms in somewhere over looks like Germany or something yeah Germany ish uh, in that range um, again it animates to that point and then zooms in so that's kind of the basic functions of the controller um, we can still use everything else for the most part but uh, that's pretty much it guys I'll catch you in the next tutorial uh, where, where we're gonna get into something else it's gonna be sweet so uh, see you guys then have a good one